Welcome back to Grizz Vision, brought to you by the Evans Law Group. Neil Rule here with Coach Campy and Coach. Uh, another win over Youngstown State, 81 to 74. And the game today played out a lot like the game from yesterday. It came down the stretch. You guys had to close it out, and you did. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Um, you know, it's what a difference a week makes. You know, you, of course, playing at home probably has something to do with that too. We're 22 or 24 from the free throw line. You know, we. We're, we're, I can't 14 18 yesterday so we're 36 of uh, 42 from the line over two days that's how you win you, you know you got to make your free throws and, and, and got to make big plays and you did and you know our big time players made some really big plays or shots really struggled with his shot in the first half and didn't let it get him down and didn't take bad shots you know he, he the maturity that he's grown and showing is, is really good I what he did to start the second half with a couple big shots really got us a lead and, and allowed us to win the game. And you can say what Oladapo and Jalen Moore did and what Micah did and all that kind of with the finishing touches. But we would have never been there if Rashad hadn't, you know, kept his mat maturity and stayed focused and, and understood I, the next one can go in. And he really, really did a great job of making shots for us. And then, you know, Jalen was unbelievable down the last four four minutes, five minutes of the game. And, you know, he just... <laughs> he just took it over. Yeah, he did. He really did. And he, he won the game for us. And it was pretty amazing. And um, Oladapo, just another, just, you know, just, man, what a consistent, solid player that he's just turning into. That that you know, Everybody talks about, hey, he should be all, you know, there's the guy that should be all league. I mean, there, there's who's got a guy like that that just does his job, man. He's... I've called him the Ricky Mahorn. Of course, I'm a bad boys fan. I'm from that era. So, but he's our Ricky Mahorn, man. He's he's our guy that just does the dirty work and you know just dance really really good. And, and then our two freshmen played great. I mean, I mean, we got a lot of freshmen that I think are really good players. The two that are getting the most minutes, I thought today they were outstanding. I, I Trey was, and he played 34 five minutes today because he was so good. And then Micah had a mismatch, took advantage of it was outstanding defensively, got a bunch of rebounds. And, you know, Michael was a real difference maker today, really was. You know, Coach, you look at it too, it seems like your guys took their turns. You talked about Rashad and you talked about Micah and then Jalen came in to close it. It was, it was, it was like a Major League Baseball pitcher. The starter came out, started the game, the bullpen held up, and then the closer came in and shut it down. And we, and we gave up a bunch of runs early because we couldn't make layups, you know. We, I've never seen a team miss the layups, the shots that we missed today. I mean, it was it was contagious, and uh, we overcame that. You know, two three weeks ago, we would we would have folded. You know, we would we would have gotten down. Our body language would have been terrible. We wouldn't. Why is this happening to us? And so the growth of this team has been ph phenomenal. And you know, I was really really angry last week at Green Bay when we gave the first night away and then had a double digit lead in the second half. And and uh, when those things happen with young guys, you, you, you sit and you teeter. You know, you're either going to learn from it and get better or you're going to fall into a feeling sorry for yourself abyss. And uh, we didn't do that, man. We, we, we got better. We had a good week of practice uh, and we got better. So I I'm, can't be happier with the way this went. I know Quisenberry didn't play and it doesn't matter, you know. We've had a lot of games where our best players haven't played too and you still got you still get an L or a W for it. And, you know, Neil, we got two two W's this week, and it, I go back to what I've said to you. It's a juggling act, man. You, you got to develop youth and still win at the same time. And when you can do that, everybody's happy. And when you don't do it, everybody's angry and upset. And today, you know, we saw our youth developing and getting better, and, and we got two wins. So we're all happy now. <laughs> Coach, appreciate the time. Detroit up next. Hey, another home, hey, home games again next week. Yeah. You don't know what to do? Yeah, that would be awesome to be able to go back to back and not go anywhere. So uh, we got to get ready. That's going to be a war. Thanks for the time, Coach. Okay.